word of God in John chapter 17 verse 3 says, This is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ you have sent. He says that they may know you, the only true God. Dear child of God, have you come to know the only true God? Have you come to receive the only true God? Have you come to know this only true God? He says that they may know the only true God. See, many times people have placed around them false gods, dear child of God. They have placed around them gods that cannot save them. They have placed around them the institutions that would not be beneficial to their spiritual faculties. It says that you may know the only true God. If the scripture says the only true God, it means there are very many false gods. The child of God, many will come demonstrating themselves as the true God, as the true knowledge of light. But come to that point of realizing that with Jesus Christ, whom God has sent, you can find a way to the only true God. There is no other way to the only true God but through Jesus Christ. You need to come embrace him into your life. You need to come believe all the things that Jesus has said. He says no one will see the Father except they come through Jesus, a child of God. Yes, many have come with many definitions out there. But you need to come to know Jesus for yourself. Because he will lead you to the only true God. And when you come to that point of having yourself being led to the place the only true God is, then you are walking to the place of eternal life with him. He says this is eternal life. When he began to speak the child of God, they were all mortals. But he said, in this you will find eternal life. In this you will find the life that will distinguish you, dear child of God. He says, in this you will find the life that God is very pleased with. How have you been living, dear child of God? It will tell how far you would go. How have you been living, dear child of God? It will tell where you spend your eternity. Is it with God? Is it with that true and only God? Or is it in the place of gnashing of teeth? Or is it in the place of sorrow? Is it in the place of pains? You see, Jesus began to say, even as you gave him authority over all flesh, to give eternal life to those whom you have given. He says, for you have given him authority over all. Dear child of God, Jesus said, he looked up to heaven and says, Father, the hour has come, glorify your son, so that your son may glorify you. He began to speak about the father who had glorified him. He says, I glorified you on the earth by completing the task that you gave me to do. Yes, he said he finished the work, the work that will lead men to eternal life. He did all that he was supposed to do. He completed his task and mission. But the point I'm going back to is, have you known the true God? Have you come to the point of knowing how to relate with the true God? Have you come to the point of knowing who the true God really is? He says they will know you and only you who is the true God. A child of God. You see, our God will say that he was the most brutish of all men in Proverbs 30. And the reason he said that was because he did not have the knowledge of the holy. He did not have the knowledge of God. He did not know God. He did not know God for who God was. And so he said he was the most brutish of all men. Please, dear child of God, come to the point of knowing God for yourself. Because your exploit, the successes, the things you're supposed to do that would distinguish you, that would distinguish you as a child of the light, would come in the knowledge of God that you have. How much do you know? How much do you know God? How much do you know about the God that had created you? How much do you know about the God that saved you? How much do you know about the God that called you out of darkness? He says, and no longer will they be teaching every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Get knowledge of the Lord, for they will all have knowledge of me, from the least of them to the greatest of them, says the Lord, for they would have my forgiveness for their evil doings, and their sin will go from my memory forever. Jeremiah 31 verse 34. It says they will know me for themselves. Dear child of God, come to that point of knowing God for yourself. Come to that point of making sure the knowledge of God is found in you. 
He says, For they would have knowledge of me from the least of them to the greatest of them. A child of God, you need to come to know God. You see, Daniel would say that those who know their God, he says they will be strong and they will do exploit. Dear child of God, have you been doing exploit? Or have you allowed yourself to be buffeted night and day because you do not know, you have not come to realize that your God is capable of saving you. You have not known the power of your God. You see, many have gone through a lot of challenges they are not supposed to go through because they have forgotten that God is all-powerful. God can save them. And so they wallow in the place of darkness. They suffer unnecessarily because they forget that God can come to rescue them. And instead of them going to God, they go to wrong places for help. They go to wrong places for assistance. And this would always compound their problems even more. Come to the point of knowing for yourself that true and only God. It is important that you have this knowledge. He says, it will come to a point. They will not need to be taught because they have all come to know God for themselves. Dear child of God, come to that point of saying, I will know you God for myself. I want to know you for myself. Yes, the preacher will preach what he would preach. But I want to know you for myself. I want to encounter you for myself. I want to come to that point of saying I know God and God knows me. You see, some would not be known of God. God did not know them. God would say, I don't know you because they were workers of iniquity. Because they decided not to sit and find God in their lives. Dear child of God, it is time you clear your task and sit with God. And say, God, I want to know you. I want to know who you really are. Yes, because we have come to understand that there is one true and only God. And I'm ready to know you. I'm ready to pay the price to know you. Dear child of God, come to know God for yourself. Not the one the preacher is preaching. Yes, many times, just to whet your appetite, they will come to say some things to get you excited. But come to know what God is saying to you part time. Come to know what God is expecting from you. Come to know what God desires that you should do, dear child of God. Have you discovered God for yourself? Because sometimes the expression and the demonstration of God with each and every one of us is different. And you must come to know how God is relating with you. Until you do that, dear child of God, you keep struggling. You keep moving from pillar to post. Come to the point of saying, God, I want to know you. You see, Paul will say that I may know you and the power of your resurrection. He knew that he needed to know God for himself. He needed to know the risen Lord for himself. And every day he paid the price to know. He paid the price to increase his knowledge. Dear child of God, he paid, he paid, he paid the price to see that God was having expression in his life. If you're not paying the price today, you may not know as much as you should know. So come to that point of saying, God, I want to know you. Be clear. Yes, be very sincere and say, I want to know you. I want to know what you expect me to do. I want to know how you want me to live my life. I want to know how you want me to demonstrate my ways on the face of the earth. I want to know how you are thinking. I want to know how you are expressing yourself. I want to have the knowledge, yes, of you that would help me to be faithful, that would help me to be strong, that would help me to overcome. Despite the storms, the challenges, I want to know you for who you are. I want to know you and come to embrace you knowing that despite it all, I have you. Yes, you may lose everything else, but make sure you don't lose your touch with God. Make sure you do not lose your touch with God. Make sure you do not lose your touch with God. It is important. You need to come to that point of realizing that God expects that you know him and also he wants to be known by you. He said he knows those that are ease. Those that name the name of the Lord, they should walk away from iniquity. They should walk away from the works of the flesh. Dear child of God, God knows those that are ease. And if you say you are for him, then let him know you and come to be known by him. Dear child of God, come to that point that you are knowing God and also He is knowing you as well. It is a koinonia, it is a fellowship. It is intimacy. It is from the place of intimacy that you can get this. I pray God will help you. You will get everything in God that you deserve.
that you need to get in Jesus mighty name. Amen. It is well with you beloved. God bless you and shalom.